Hi you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Stay Stace and I am so glad that you're here today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so and hitting that notification bell. In this video, I am going to go over a Coco Rosa Studio die. I made some cards. And also this video is going to be for hashtag ATC MDC Open Collab. But before I get into the ATC cards, I just want to spotlight this die right here. It's fabulous. I have done so many things with this die. I use this die today in all of the cards and ATC cards that I have created today. This is the Sunflower Bush Die by Cocorosa Studios, and it measures about four inches by four inches. And actually, this side is a little shy of four inches, but really pretty. It has the three clusters of sunflowers here, and then this little gated look. I don't know what you would call that, but I'm loving, loving, loving the geometric print on here. Just really, really cute, and these little accents on it right here. It just made for a super fun card. So as you can see here... This is how that die cut out. Really, really pretty. Just just really, really pretty. And then you could do so many things with it. So on here, I actually cut out a little panel that I, a little bit smaller than an A2 size card so that I have a little bit of a border on my card, maybe about a quarter of an inch smaller. And I kept this panel after I did my die cut on most of the cards. This is an A2 size card base and you can do so many things with this die. So I absolutely think that the card would be super cute if you would just layer everything back together like that. You can also just take the die cut and add it to the card and maybe put something up here. That would be super, super cute. You can turn it around and you can make it go like that. I think that that is cute. Just so, so many things that you can do with this die, I believe. So many ways that you can play with it. So for some of the cards that I created here, this is one of them. I did do a short on this video already. If you haven't seen it, I will have it linked somewhere above and also in the description box. So definitely go and check out the process for this. And basically to do this card, I die cut out two of these little die cuts here. I took my card base, I put it down on the card base. I used my alcohol markers. The brand that I used this time was just regular Ohuhu markers that you can get off of Amazon. And then I just colored all over the die cut. It didn't matter if you stayed in the lines or not. And then I put my die cut out base right on top of it. And and then I added the second panel right over it. And so you couldn't really tell where I went out of the lines or anything. So that is how this card came together. And then I did stitch around the edges. I used this cute little spring sentiment and I stitched straight through it as well. I used some little flat back pearls here for the sides. And then I also went in with my gold Wink Stella and got fancy. So there's Wink Stella all over it. At the bottom, I used the clear Wink Stella. So I think that it turned out super, super cute. And then I have this pre-made ombre green um, card base that I also use and I think that it just came together super fabulous. So this one was using alcohol markers. I also put this one together on this card, I used some Distress Oxide sprays, one in Mustard Seed and the other one in Carved Pumpkin. And I created this little effect. I don't use my sprays very often, so I thought that this was a really fun opportunity to do so. And again, I layered two of those die cuts right on this panel. I still did the same stitching. Jessica with Jessica Lila Crafts actually gave me this bloom sentiment. You can see, but the offset of this is in vellum. I just think that that's so pretty. And I added a little butterfly to it as well and some blue gems to kind of bring out that blue. I think that that one turned out really, really cute. And this one was actually the first one that I did. And on here, I did not use two of the die cuts. I only used the one and then the little background here. And then it's not perfect, but I liked it that way. And I just went in with the gold Wink of Stella and colored in just roughly, roughly colored in some of those ends. And then I did use diamond dots in the center of it, which I think is super, super cute. I use diamond dots on all of them, actually. I have been making several of these butterflies and I just have a gold staple in the middle of them. And on here, I just have diamond dots to embellish the card a little bit further. And then I did stitch just on the left corner and the top. So I think that's really, really cute. 
So that's my third card. And then here is the fourth card. I think it turned out just as cute. So I only used one die cut on these as well. But then I brought in my fancy paper with the gold foiling in it. And that's what I did that die cut on. So I like the way that it picked up the gold foiling on here. I think that that's just so cute. And I played with the diamond dots here using different colors. I have some diamond dots to embellish the card and I did the stitching on here as well. And these are one of my favorite Dollar Tree butterflies. I added one of those on here. So you guys, those are my cards all using this die. Fabulous. Okay, let's get into ATC MDC Open Collab. This is an open collaboration hosted by Tony with Creative Chica Halls, Kimmy's Kitchen and More, and Kat with Cat Cast in Cali. So this is an open collaboration, meaning that anytime you want to join in, you can certainly do so. All you have to do is upload your video showing your ATC or MDC card on any Thursday. The host also invite us to go check out everyone else who is posting on the same hashtag. And this open collaboration was intended to help you to build your stash. So I have a couple of challenges that I'm going to be entering very soon and they all need ATC cards. So I went a little crazy making ATC cards. You guys, I love the way that they all turned out. I can't even pick a favorite. Maybe you can put it in the comments which one is your favorite. One, two, or three. So for all three of these, I did use the die and then I just cut it up and then I've layered completely over it so you can't even tell. And I use the die this way. So you can see that some of the border is here on the right and on this one, some of the border is on the bottom. I used a little piece of lace and did a zigzag stitch right over it. And I did use the same fancy paper that I got from Hobby Lobby in the background so you can see some of the gold specks popping through. Love, love, love that effect. I went in with diamond dots all over the two sunflowers that are peeking through as well. I had a little sentiment in my stash that says spring is in the air. I added this cute little charm to a garment pin and I think that that really added some extra special details as well. I popped a cute little diamond here because I don't use my flat back diamonds enough and I thought that this was a cute little place to add a little bit more sparkle and pizzazz. I have layered up this glittery chipboard piece right here. I have another one in the background and I also have this little bird up on dimensional tape. So I think that that turned out super cute. This is how I did the back. I just have a little pocket here and then my information goes right into the pocket. And I think that that is a super cute way to also protect your information on the back. So that is my first ATC card. On the second ATC card, I used some of these craft wooden pieces from Dollar Tree. And so I like this one. It's very much giving spring. You have your picket fence right here. You have your flowers. And there's even a little butterfly here on the end. And so again, I whipped out my Ahuhu alcohol markers and got busy coloring. Now, when you use alcohol markers on the wood pieces, let me see if I can kind of demonstrate it. Now, when you're using alcohol markers on these craft wood pieces, you don't need much ink because the ink spreads. So I'll just do a quick little demonstration. This is color P4. It is the lavender. So I'm just going to apply. Let's get close. I'm just going to apply a little bit of the alcohol ink to the wood and you guys just watch how it spreads. So you definitely don't need a lot. So here I'm just really holding it on here. So here, I'm just holding it on here. I'm not even coloring with it and it spreads on its own. So I thought that that was really cool. And so I worked with the wood like that. So because I knew that and I knew that I wanted my petal to be a different color than my stem, then I would start a little bit further up like that. And so I had a little bit more control over where the ink went. And I think that it is so, so, so cute. You can also do a little bit of blending on it if you want to as well. So really cute. I really like using the alcohol markers with the wood pieces, but that is something to note. So that is how I colored in this wood piece. And you can see that I did do a little bit of shading on here as well. Sh coloring and shading is definitely not my strong suit. And I embrace that. It's okay. <laughs> um, 
I also use this little foam sticker. Now this, I think is a thicker sticker that says loving life. And I have a smack dab in the center of that sunflower. I just think that it is super, super cute. In addition to the lace on the side, I also have some trim running on the bottom right behind the fence. And that is this floral garden mesh ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. I just cut off a really small piece and I have it in the background just to give it a little bit more texture and interest and dimension. I really, really like that. Again, this is another, um, this is another Dollar Tree butterfly love the Dollar Tree butterflies like how could you not here I added another little bitty piece of bling so I think that this card turned out super cute I decorated the back of it and stitched it as well and my information comes out on the side so super super cute and this is actually the first ATC card I made and it matches the cards I'll probably give that as a set now this die cut I was actually playing with and I did color it using the Distress Oxide Spray. I'm pretty sure I went over it with the Gold Wink of Stella and I went in between all of the petals, in between all of the geometric pieces and kind of just highlighted some of the areas that I wanted to. I also used some diamond dots in three different colors here. I have two different colors on the butterfly. I tried sewing along the top part of this butterfly as well, just for a little bit more interest. I have the lace on the side as well. This little sticker was already in my stash. The greatest gift of life is friendship. I thought that was really cute. And then I have a little piece of bling on that as well. And then on this one, my information is top loading. And so I still actually need to cover up my address on this one. But that is how all of my ATC cards came out and all of my cards came out using this one sunflower bush dye by Cocorosa Studios. I do have a code over there if you're interested in this dye or any others from their website. So definitely check the description box below. Also, don't forget to check out hashtag ATCMDC Open Collab. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Until next time, bye.